you guys so back with another video today and today I'm doing number seven I've been quite wary about this brand I've never wanted to try it because I thought it was a bit overpriced just like benefit for basic products but truly honestly this makeup is amazing I love it so if you like the way this look turned out then keep watching to start off with I am using concealer in warm sand I really like that, it highlights my eyes, even though it's quite warm in colour, it's quite a dark deep honey colour, it covers my spots so yeah, I like that so far. Next we're taking the foundation in Deeply Honey. I hate these type of pumps because then when you do it your face especially you get it all down there. The coverage is amazing, I love this. Look at the colour match. This is how else should have been in the first place. I'm so sorry about that video. It went so wrong. This gives a nice dewy look. So, it's good to have, I guess, foundations that make it look dewy because then you can either matte them down or have a dewy. Do you have to buy two? You can have one. Okay, so far I'm loving this foundation. It's definitely medium, it's not full. And it gives me a nice coverage and it matches so let's move on to powder so here i have the powder in translucent you guys know i love some white powder okay so the powder's on and as you can see i'm now looking matte it's not too heavy i like it it doesn't make me cakey okay next i'm taking bronzer this is good because you can have a light one and a dark one this is in the shade Oh, it just says perfectly bronze duo bronzer. I'm just going to swirl them and just have both colours. Just lightly dust the forehead. That went on so quick and easy and it looks good. Happy about that. I'm flying through this video. Next is their highlighter. Oh, see how this goes because I'm not a fan of liquid. This is their Sun Illuminator Radiance Boosting Fluid in 30 mils. So it says you can brush on alone or under foundation. So it's like strobe cream basically. But let me see how this is as a highlighter. Oh, so it has like a brush. That's cool. So let's squeeze some product out. <gasps> oh my god, I was squeezing, squeezing forever. Nothing's coming out. I was really going really hard, and all of a sudden, a load just came out. It's all down my top. I'm so glad I took my <laughs> work trousers off. Oh my god. Okay, be right back in a second. Okay, so let's try this out. I am not happy about the way this came out. It's a bit messy, so we'll see. Okay, now that's done. That gives a nice dewy natural look. It's not bamming your face, shining bright like a star, like I normally like. It's pretty, I just have to get used to it, see how it is. And next is a brow kit, I thought it was pretty cute. Good for travelling. So here you have, you've got tweezers, a brush and then the brow product. This is actually a limited edition. So it says on the back it comes with two brow shades, a brow wax, a highlighter. It comes in, that's so cute, it's so tiny. So let's try this out. So if I use maybe the brow brush to apply it. Oh yeah, and it comes with a slanted one. It's a duo. Oh, that's cool. That big see So this one's slanted, then it's like a brush. That's very good for travelling, especially as it comes with a tweezer. So these are what the tweezers look like. Ah, oh, so cute. It's gold, and it just says number seven at the end.
I love it, it makes him look really natural. Okay guys, I just finished the brows and I love it. I tried the under brow highlight, I tried the, the brow wax. It's very natural, it takes a bit more time but it is power last, so you've got to work with it. But yeah, overall I'm happy. So next we're moving on to eyes and I'm taking this trio, it's called Sugar Plum. It's got a blue, purple and a champagne colour. They're all glitter, so let's see how it's going to work out. I used the white for like a base, then I used the purple all over lid. Oh, actually it's not blue, it's grey. And then I used the grey for like a smoky look. So let's apply this. Oh wow, that is blinding, you can use it as a highlighter. I'll take my broken brush just to blend it. So creamy these eyeshadows. Not much of a fallout. <laughs> my finger. I love it. Okay guys, so I've got two eyeliners, so I'm gonna try them both to see which one is better. One is a felt tip and one is a liquid. So let's see how this goes. I've just applied the eyeliner and I love it. I do prefer the liquid over the felt because I felt it's really hard. It's hard to move it. Like when you're doing a wing, you need like a flexible like tip so you can get the perfect, but it was so hard it was I wouldn't recommend the felt tip, but definitely the liquid. And I hate liquids, but I don't use liquids as you know. I don't use liquids, I don't like them. I like felt tips, so to say this is good, this is good. Going to move on to mascara. So I'm using the dramatic lift. Oh, good for travelling. It's really small. This looks so nice. Oh my god. This does just as good of a job as else. It makes it long, separated. I think I like this more. It's more lightweight. It doesn't <laughs> make my lashes stick together. Okay, I've got three lip products, which I'm not sure which one to use. I've got a lip crayon and then two lipsticks. Let me see what the colours are. So the lipsticks are in Cameo and Sugar Plum. Maybe I should do Sugar Plum to match my eyeshadow. Okay, let me show you the crayon. So the crayon is like, it's like a deep berry pink. Okay, Sugar Plum. Actually, that would match. That matches the lip crayon. I can use a lip crayon as like a lip liner and then use, and then this as a lipstick. It's a beautiful colour for someone that doesn't wear lipsticks. So this is just a tiny bit brighter pink. So I think I'm gonna use the other two. But it's still a beautiful colour. Guys, we're moving on to lips. I just did this, just to give it its true colour. So next, lip crayon. Gonna do this lightly so you can see the true colour of the lipstick because they are quite close in colour. See, just a pretty cranberry colour. Good for full. And next we're going to take it in sugar plum all over the lips. Okay, so I got that on the lips. Um, it's so creamy and nice and the colour is just beautiful. I'm overall so happy with it. Okay guys, so I'm going to quickly run through the products because they're, all, they're literally all amazing. Foundation, amazing. Perfect colour shade, matches me, covers, it's a medium. I'm starting to use mediums now because I find, apart from studio, I haven't found anything to top studio fix right now. But every day, I've ne I never use light or BB cream, so it's just perfect. I love it. Concealer, amazing. It c conceals, it does its job, it also highlights. I like concealers that's two in one. I don't need to be buying one to conceal and one to highlight. Powder doesn't make me look cakey. Just a star bronzer and highlighter i love the bronzer gives it a natural look you don't look too bronze it's not even that dark it's just very natural not a fan of the way that highlighter came out it was such a mess you can't even see but like it literally went all the way down my top so wear this as soon as you get the shower when you're like in your towel 
<laughs> not really addressed. I'm going to use that a couple more times to see how it works, but it gives it a very like, it's just very natural. Brows, again, very natural. I love the way it applied. It does take a bit of time, but it's worth it in the end. The eyeshadow is good, but I'm going to test it out within the matte eyeshadow ranges that I have. Because having an all over glitter shimmer <laughs> lid is not the one for me. But it looks good. I'd love to see how it tops over with maybe a grey eyeshadow. Put the grey on top of it just to see how it looks. So it's definitely good for like an eyeshadow topper. Next eyeliner. I don't like the felt tip, but I love the liquid. The felt is just... It's not bad. It's definitely better than else. It's black. It, it's good, but it just... It's quite hard. So I find it... It's just a bit harder just to apply it. Whereas this just glided on. Next, mascara. This mascara is good, I'm telling you. I love it. It gives length, it defines, it makes your lashes look individual, so you're not going to get that clumpy look with this mascara. I showed you two different lip products, a crayon and the lipstick, and they're both amazing. Overall, this brand is a thumbs up. I was so shook because I didn't think they were that amazing, just because their price was so high and their products look kind of basic. But I have to give it to you, number seven. You are great and I will definitely be using it especially that foundation it matches like a dream but yeah that is it for my review I am so so impressed okay guys it's the end of the video and yeah comment down your favorite number seven products or ones that you weren't really a fan of and until then I'll see you guys later